For this tutorial, I'm using Sharon Meyer Select Belizia yarn. I have a four millimeter crochet hook. We need also a tapestry needle for sewing the ends and scissors. We start with the usual slip knot. And then chain six. Join through the first stitch with a slip stitch. And then chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then we need 19 treble crochets. So you yarn over twice. And then you crochet the treble crochet. And we need 19. If you count these four chain stitches, then we'll have 20 at all in the ring. Okay, so if you have your 20 treble crochets, we'll join this round through the first stitch here with a slip stitch. And then you chain four. One, two, three, and four. And through the same stitch here, we crochet two treble crochets. One and the second, also through the same stitch. Now one treble double crochet, so you yarn over three times and also through the same stitch. We're working all the time through the same stitch. This will be the star corner. And also through the same stitch, three more treble crochets. One, two, and three. So actually the chain four at the beginning counts as one treble crochet, okay? So then we skip the next stitch and a half double crochet through the second. Then we skip the next stitch and through this stitch we do the same as here, but we don't chain. We start with a treble crochet. So three treble crochets through the same stitch. Then a treble double crochet. You yarn over three times, also through the same stitch. And three treble crochets. Yeah, so this is the next corner. Now again, skip the next stitch. A half double crochet through the second. Skip the next stitch and here the same again. Three treble crochets. One treble double crochet. Three treble crochets. Okay, so uh, I think you understand how how to shape these corners and you continue doing this until you're done with the round and then I will show you how to join and how to start the next round. Okay, so as you can see we have already a star and now we want to join this and we join it with a slip stitch through the first stitch on the top and then you slip stitch until you're at the corner Okay, so now we're here at the top of the corner and I now I will form the next corner here. For this we have to chain four. And we crochet through the same stitch again two treble crochets. One treble double crochet.
and three travel crochets. Okay, so the next corner is born and we continue crocheting travel crochets until we reach the bottom and there we should have three stitches left. So as you can see here, we have, we have here the lower part, we had here the half double crochet. So we have to count and we see here one, two, three in the lower part. And now we will skip these three. So yarn over twice again and we count one, two, three, four and through the fourth stitch a treble crochet. And then continue crocheting treble crochets until you reach the next top of the corner. And here we are. So this stitch is the top of the corner and through this stitch we will crochet a new corner. As you already know, three treble crochets. One treble double crochet. And three treble crochet through the same stitch. Okay, then we continue to crochet treble crochets until we have three stitches on the lower part and here we are so here with the half double crochet we have here one two three and we will skip to the fourth One, two, three, four, yeah. Okay, and here we will form a new corner. So I think you know how to do this. It's the same way as I showed you and you continue doing this the same way until we hear again and then we'll join and start the new round together. And I think after the next round, you should understand how this whole Afghan works. Okay, so let's finish this, this round together. I will crochet two more of the travel crochets. And then we join the round. And then continue slip stitching until you reach the next corner. This is actually here. And now we will create here the new corner. So you start crocheting four chain stitches and then two treble crochet through the same stitch. Then one treble double crochet. And then three treble crochets. So this corner works always the same. The same way, or it is always the same. Okay, and then we continue crocheting treble crochets until we have three stitches at the bottom so our lower part is here and i will skip the three stitches here that means i have to continue until this place okay so now we have here 
one, two, three, four additional treble crochets after the corner. Now we skip the next three here on the lower part. Then we continue at this point. And you crochet treble crochets until you reach the next corner. And we have it here. And now we will start crocheting the next corner. So you see, this is what you will have to do all the time. So this is how it works. And you just have to continue this way until your star, until your Afghan or your Stargan, <laughs> as it's also called, um, until it's big enough as you want to have it. Yeah, that's it. If you don't want to have this full corner and you want to have this open corner, you can just replace your treble double crochet, so this one in between, and you can crochet instead three chain stitches. So you have here your, your three treble crochets, chain three and three treble crochets. And that's it. So this is a different look. So this is your full corner and this is your open corner. And then you will have also a symmetric way. So you will have here the same number of stitches as here. Yeah, so hope this tutorial was helpful. And just watch also other videos. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified about new videos. And until next time, bye bye.